Welcome back. It's week nine of our COVID-19 experience. I'm Emily and this is Emily's Paper Caper where you'll find inspiration to scrap your stash and get some pages done. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell icon now so you don't miss any ideas. So I have been very intentional and I'm doing a one page layout to document each week of the COVID-19 stay at home experience. We still have a stay at home order here in Illinois and things are not quite what they used to be. So I'm documenting our journey. I've done some journaling ahead of time. This talks about how we stay in touch and make new friends with the help of technology these days. And I've printed a couple of photos on my HP sprocket. These are screenshots from our Zoom crop yesterday. Several of us have stayed in touch on Zoom. We get together, we used to get together in person, and now we make sure we do that on Zoom. And we crop together on Zoom, it's really fun. So I've pulled some things from my stash, including the calendar showing that we're talking about the week of May 10th. I used my we are memory keepers word punch board to spell out the word week and i've got the number nine on this tag this is a little ticket tag that's been in my stash it says we will be friends forevermore and i thought that that was perfect for the focus of this page and then i have today's beautiful moments are tomorrow's beautiful memories for the background of this page I'm using a stash of washi tape this year, and I decided to go ahead and put borders on the top and bottom. I use two different washi tapes. One has cute llamas on it, and the other has a geometric triangle design. And so I just put those at the top and the bottom. And then for the background, I had some paint out. I was using it on the junk journal I created recently. I will link to those videos in the description if you're interested. But I had some extra paint and I thought, well, since I have that paint, let's not waste it. And I got this stencil out. It is a Heidi Swap stencil. And I just went ahead and painted through that stencil, let it dry and it makes for an interesting background. So let's see, I'll collage this um, like I have been for these weekly layouts and let's put this together. The first thing I want to do is add some pink ink to the edges of the elements to make them stand out just a little bit more against the background of the page. I used to never do this, but for some reason lately I'm doing more of it. I think it makes things stand out nicely. And it's, it is easy and pretty quick to do. Now it's time to start arranging things on the page. I've really tried to make these a non-traditional scrapbook page each week using a number of elements, a couple of photos, and focus on the journaling and telling a story. Got my ATG gun. I will do a lot of the adhering off camera, but I do show how I'm adhering that second photo it's on the hp sprocket it's printed on the hp sprocket and they're just so handy you just peel off the back and they stick right down there's already adhesive on them these flowers are from basic gray i do miss that company i have a number of these flowers in my stash and i've been using them this spring and enjoying them I'm also trying to use a stash of brads and other embellishments this year. So I've got this saying that's kind of on a heavy vellum. So I didn't want to use my ATG gun adhesive for fear it would show through that paper. So I'm using brads to adhere that to the page. Here are some final looks and thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and keep on scrapping.